Hello, trading has closed on April 21st, 2016. Uh, I use a program called Screencast Omatic to record these videos, and yesterday there was a glitch in the program and they could not be downloaded to YouTube. The company tells me it's all fixed today. What we said yesterday was that for two days in a row, we gapped up at a series of new highs and couldn't hold on to any of them. I thought it was a negative pattern. I was looking for lower prices today. The target was hit pretty easily. There was resistance over it. We hit some old targets, one from April 19th, support, resistance, and one from April 18th, resistance over it. Before getting into tomorrow's prediction, I'd like to review some of the things I had to say yesterday. In addition to the DeMarc sell signals I had talked about two days ago, we now have a combo and sequential sell on the 65-minute chart. We have them right at the high on the 78-minute chart. The stop loss on the daily chart was right here. It was never violated. Don't forget the stops on these patterns are based on closing prices. On the weekly chart, the resistance at the TDST line has held. And the monthly chart shows a pattern going back to 2009, which I think is very significant. I had been saying I thought this was a wave W and this was X because I thought it counted as an ABC. I think it's now possible to count it as a five wave pattern. One, two, three, four, five. If so, this would be wave four down. Yesterday would have completed possibly wave five up and that would mark the Elliott wave end of the bull move that began in 2009. Of course, the way these things work, this could always be wave one of wave five alternate. But in general, when wave three is so extended, you would, ex you, uh, you would anticipate that uh, wave five expected to truncate. This is an indicator I found years ago on the internet. It worked very handily when the market was in full rally mode. You take the 125-day moving average. You add 4.94% right there. And when you hit the line, that gives you a sell signal. So if you draw this vertical thing through yesterday's pattern, there's the sell right at the high. I know it seems kind of contrived. But if anyone wants to look at this over the years, you'll see it's actually pretty good. Well, I think we have probably hit a very major long-term top, but that doesn't mean we have to drop every day. And tomorrow, I'm looking for it to be up. We dropped all day long and couldn't close under the middle of the day low. That's positive. BJT gave an ultimate pie signal here. It worked, said the move was false, that this price would print, which it did. It gave an ultimate buy signal here. The white dot shows it was satisfied, but almost always we get more than the minimum. That shows we should go up. It shows this drop to be false. Gives us a target of 2093.96, saying we should go up. We have a page 120 buy signal. I had my second failure of this signal pretty recently, but over the years it's been pretty good. It says we're going to rally from 8 to 10 points at least at some time tomorrow, but it doesn't say from where the rally starts. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 different indicators that the market's going to be up tomorrow, and that's my call. But don't forget, when you're near a major change in trend, the odds of failure go up, 
And if this one doesn't seem to be working, I wouldn't press the issue, but I think it's going to work, and that's today's call.